I'm Trues now. Meet your new English A level teacher, Brand draws the A level syllabus. Yep, I'm the news. Look, I'm a person, I'm basically the same as you, aren't I? And I go, I'm news now! <laughs> what the actual news is, is I went to Parliament to talk about drug laws and changing them because I think that drug laws exist to uh, uh, obviously criminalise <laughs> drug addicts. But what's the point, really, in criminalising drug addicts? It don't help, you know, it don't make less people take drugs, it just causes more problems. I don't know how that's an A level. To, to be honest, because how would that be an A-level? There's the implication is, what? Russell Brand is your A-level teacher? That's ridiculous, look at him, he's got all those necklaces on and a ridiculous hat and a, too long a beard. I was having a difficult time, which I expressed through growing too much beard and hair, so, you know, in a way they've got a point. But then you sort of think, well, actually, it's not actual me, it's an abstraction of me distilled in, uh, other people's preconceptions and, and conceptions of me distilled. But what I'm happy is because I don't even have A-levels and now I am A-levels. So uh, if you don't have no A-levels, good. Because you might one day be at A-level. I mean, it won't actually help you. Because when I think about how does this help me, it's just a temporary, egoic sort of little twitch. Like sort of 5% of an erection. Like, <laughs> oh, thanks, that was nice, but it's gone already. Dun, the sun! Halal secret of Pizza Express. Why is the sun, for two consecutive days, doing racist news? Pizza Express is serving only halal chicken without telling customers. Thank you for pizza. Well, before you eat that, sir, <laughs> perhaps you'd like to know how it was killed. I most certainly would. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, how was it killed? Well, in accordance with uh, uh, Islamic law, its throat was slit while it was alive. Oh, can't you kill it in a traditional English way, which is just to get a little chicken like that, pull it into your heart, and then just sing Spandau Ballet songs at it till it dies. So true, funny how it seems. Oh, just whisper Shakespeare at it and gently cuddle it to death. All things have got to die. It's not very nice to die in an abattoir either. Come vegetarian if you're offended by the concept of chickens dying. Don't be a racist about the way a chicken died. How are halal chicken slaughters? Halal chicken must be alive when they're slaughtered. <laughs> of course, everything's got to be alive before it dies. That is the nature of life. British chickens, we always make sure they're dead before we kill them. We don't even think about killing it till it's been dead. Like, it dies, and then we kill it. <laughs> That's... You've not understood the nature of life and death there. If that is offensive, it shouldn't be offensive to you because of the techniques used to kill it. It should be offensive because why well, kill an animal? As Morrissey once said, I don't see why something's life should end just so I can have a snack. You? Your life's got to end. Why? I want a snack! <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Terrible, really. Terrible business. So that's some racist news there. Can vote, won't vote. This is the mirror. People, young people, don't want to vote no more because they've realised that Westminster politics or mainstream politics doesn't represent ordinary people's lives. See him here, this man. He's in charge. If you're English or Scottish even at the moment, he's in charge of you. Uh, he went to a private school. His family are rich. He's never been poor, he's never ever going to be poor, he doesn't register that as a concept, it doesn't bother him. His mates, all the people that are in the government with him, they also are not poor. What they're doing is further dividing up public utilities and selling them to other people who are not poor, because they are not poor. It's not like he's evil, like he's not like he's Darth Vader or something. It's just sharing with his mates, really. But what you want is that circle to be expanded so that it includes everyone. Now, when you say can't vote, you know, like people don't vote to don't make a difference, that, I, I, as you know, agree with that. I don't think it makes any difference either, but that doesn't mean be apathetic or you, that you don't have any power. You do have power. For example, when Millie Dowler's answer, answer phone was hacked into by News of the World journalists, we were so outraged that the News of the World had to shut down. Right? So that's brilliant. People have power. Because people were disgusted by the News of the World, the News of the World had to shut down. That shows people have power. But... Because media barons, like Rupert Murdoch, also have power, what they did was rebranded News of the World as The Sun on Sunday. So you think, oh, well, what's the point? What difference does it make? You know, if, broadly speaking, what we want is a fairer society, then we need to focus on that. We can have whatever society we want, but we have to be focused and uh, unified and organised. 
here's a little bit of information that helps spiritually, because I think the one way we could, we're all the same is we have the same spiritual objectives, whoever we are. We all need the same thing spiritually. This is nice, this is from a man called Eckhart Tolle. Learn about him, he's really nice. We've all got the same sort of spiritual center. So if we can return to the awareness behind our thoughts, the awareness behind the ways we define ourselves, we will find unity there and peace there. If we can organize a society based on those principles, it will naturally flow into a fairer society. Here's a nice bit of information for you. When you meet with people at work or wherever it may be, give them your fullest attention. You are no longer there when you're meeting a person, primarily as a person, but as a field of awareness, of alert presence. The original reason for interacting with another person, buying or selling something, requesting or giving information and so on, becomes secondary. The field of awareness that arises between you becomes the primary purpose for the interaction. So whatever you're doing, remember you're dealing with another human being who's like you on their little journey through life. How beautiful. If you connect with people in that way, you'll have an elevated experience with them. That's what this person's saying. The space of awareness becomes more important than what you may be talking about. More important than physical or thought objects. Like a thought is just an object. It's neurological information. Like, so it's electricity really, electricity is sort of, it can be way, it's a thing. The human being becomes more important than the other things of this world. It does not mean you neglect whatever needs to be done on a practical level. But if we prioritise at the spiritual dimension, if we prioritise our true nature, our unified nature, then we will manifest a society that is more beautiful. So, you know, don't vote, organise. Organise. Dun 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 dun! Is a tool that is abused to fool you and to leave you scared and confused. Truths is like the news. If the news was true, I want some truths. Let's have some truths.